Hey guys, thank you for joining us for another Men's Bible Brief. This is Pastor Autry. If you can, join us on Wednesday mornings. The info is on the screen. If not, we got you covered right here on YouTube. Well, let's go ahead and join the brief in progress. God bless you. Everybody you doing good? Start over. Okay. <laughs> good morning. Good morning, fellas. It's good to see everybody. I am going to go dark for a little bit um, as I am in transition. Um, then I'll ask for Reverend Hartsfield if you could. I emailed you a couple of slides. If you could pull those up at the appropriate time, um, uh, we'll, we'll go through those. So, so you won't see my face, but you will hear my voice. Um, so, so listen, it was amazing that we were able to. Sorry about. That. It, it was amazing that this topic came up um, at this time. I wanna give you a little background as to what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna to talk about spiritual ability, spiritual ability. And I'm gonna put a little twist on it. It'll be a little bit different than uh, what we've done in the past as it relates to um, spiritual gifts and spiritual ability. Um, but the Bible verse is actually the very same one that Reverend Hartsfield used this morning. Um, and it's, it's, it's in all thy ways, acknowledge him, you know, and lean not to your own understanding. I'm going to tie that to spiritual ability. The best availability that we can have is availability. As it comes, when it relates to men and it comes to men and our health and how we move and shape, you know, if we are not available, if we're not here, we cannot be a part of the kingdom building process. And typically and historically, men have, I don't want to say ignored, um, but in our machismo, right, we have put our health on the back burner. If it aches, I'll, I'll just deal with it. I'll just bite the, I'll just bite my mouthpiece. And, and if, it, if it hurts, I'll just get over it all. I'll shake it off. And we've kind of been raised like that. And then as we get older, you know, those same things happen. Being a provider, being a, a, an individual who who does whatever it, the job requires, those kind of um, instincts have just been instilled and ingrained in us. But when we, when we look at it, we don't really incorporate God into our health the same way we do other things. For, for example, um, if, if there's an addiction, um, you know, let's say take alcoholism, for example, if there's an addiction or if there is a, 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 a vice that we have, we're a little bit quicker to say, hey, God, I, I really need your help with this. But we don't do that in terms of health. We, we tend to lean to our own understanding as it relates to our own health. And the truth of the matter is our health requires as much God in that as any other addiction. Any of you that have ever decided, you know what, I'm not going to do sugar anymore. What happens? What happens when you go that first full day with no sugar or the first uh, couple of 48 hours with no sugar? You get a headache, right? You, you start, you start, your body starts to go through withdrawal symptoms from not having that. It is an addiction, right? It, it becomes an addiction and you don't even realize it. Sweet. Listen, uh, Tim, Tim makes those, those cakes and pies and all that stuff and, and, and them sweets, man. And, and we like crack things when, it, <laughs> when we know it's some pies and some cakes. I mean, the, the frenzy, the swarm that we have, you know, around that stuff, it's because our body starts to crave it. We remember all of those tastes. We remember those flavors, but the chemicals and the things that are used to make those type of baked goods taste so good, they also do some other things to our body. And so when we start to talk about being able to be available to be a part of the kingdom building process, man, our number one spiritual ability, I mean, spiritual ability is availability. We just got to make sure that we stick around and that we are here. And so Reverend Hartsfield asked uh, if we could, you know, kind of dedicate the month of July to kind of men's health month. And so to kind of kick that off, we wanted to issue out a 30 day water challenge to the men that participate in the Bible brief. It's very, very simple. Um, uh, if you could share that screen, Reverend Hartsfield. It's very, very simple. It's a 30 day water challenge. Like if, 
we, you know, if you, what, whatever your health goals are, whatever, um, whatever it is, I 100% guarantee you, and science has proven that water is the basis for better health, no matter what. If you increase your water intake, you are going to be healthier, period, point blank, end of story. And so the 30 day water challenge is gonna work like this. Now, listen, everybody doesn't have to do it. It's totally voluntary. We would love for everybody on the Bible Brief to participate. Um, and it can be in steps. Listen, I'm not, <laughs> I'm, I'm probably gonna go for it all and, and do the whole you know, gallon of water, that's it. But we got, we got baby steps or small steps if you want to, whatever works for your lifestyle um, we want. So there's three levels to this 30 day challenge. The level one, it's just 64 ounces a day. So you drink 64 ounces of water a day, try to make that your goal daily. And then whatever other you know, liquid beverages you consume throughout the day is fine, but you're just gonna commit to at least at a bare minimum, 64. And then the second one is only drink water. So a bare minimum of 64, you don't necessarily have to do a gallon, but a bare minimum of 64, but no other liquids, no coffee, no, no, no teas, no bourbon, no whiskey, no scotch, none, none of that, right? <laughs> just, just water, just water. And then the third one is, is a um, water gallon. And so the objective is to, through the course of a 24 hour period, only drink water, consume a gallon of water in a day. If you go to the next slide. Now here, here's kind of how it works um, on, on the, uh, the 11th, which is next Monday, uh, Hartsfield and, and the, the people, folks that give leadership to the men's deal you know, will we'll e, e, e out uh, an e-blast. And there you're gonna be able to say, I'm taking the 64, I'm gonna do water only, or you're gonna do the gallon. And then from that point on a daily basis, you're gonna receive um, a fun tip about water, fun tip or fact. And then you will also receive a uh, a, a devotional scripture for the day. And that scripture is going to be based around water. So it's just 30 days for us to focus on our health, focus on our, increasing our water intake, intake. And at 105 degrees, we need to do that um, on the daily average. And then, you know, something to kind of focus you on, you know, the, the, the scripture a little bit, just to keep you locked in um, um, to scripture, because again, our best ability our best spiritual ability is our availability. That's all I got, Reverend Hartsfield.